man schedule. So matched up with the price. So $26. A lot of people are going to want it. At $66. Way fewer people are going to want it. So here, what we just did in the last section, though, is we just made a supply schedule. Oop, come on. Supply. So we saw that at 26 bucks, nobody's making it. $32, nobody's making it. But at $38, it was $7,500. And then for this one, it was $9,000. And then it was ten five. And then it was 12,000 and 13,5. So we have a demand schedule. We have a supply schedule, right? If we we're going to graph this out, da, 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 demand would look like this. Supply would look like this. And they would be equal to each other. Looks like right here. So our market price is going to be $46, 46, not 5. And our market is, the entire market is going to produce 10,500 of these things. So there you go. So the question now remains is, are we making money? What's going on here? So at $46, I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet I had over here. And... At $46, let me move this around. At $46, we were going to, hold on, bear with me. We were going to produce right here. So if price equals $46, that means MR equals 46. This is about as close as we get. MC equals MR right here. So we are going to produce seven of these things. Da, 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 da. And we're going to sell them for 46. They cost us 47.14 to make those. So we're losing money. Not a lot of money, but we're losing eight dollars every day. Um, so in the long run, in, so back to our graph. So in the long run, our supply is going to decrease just a bit because a lot of people are making money and people don't go into business to lose money. So if people are losing $7, $8 a day, um, day after day after day, they're going to leave the market. If they leave the market, supply will decrease. The price will go up a bit to somewhere where everybody breaks even. Everybody's happy in the end. Happy enough, anyway.